Hey, and welcome to Solven. No waffle, just that one trick you need. I need a break from the longer form tutorials, and this tip is a perfect quick resolution to a long standing problem adding a background to text. Adobe have come up with their own solution, and I'm in the planning stages of some tutorials showing how to use essential graphics, but this option gives you a simple effects preset. Go to the text tool, click into the comp window, and type something. Now go to effects, blur and sharpen, fast box blur. Set the amount to 20. And then go to effect, channels, shift channels. And set take alpha from to full on. So the blur is giving us an expanded edge and the shift channels fills in the whole space. The blur's radius controls the size of the box. But we're not done yet. Obviously. Go to effect, generate, fill. And this gives us the colored background for our text. But to see our text, go to effect, channels, CC composite, which is a really cool way of bringing back a layer's original look so that the effects appear on top. No wonder Chris and Trish Meyer describe it as instant sex. Okay, almost done. Go to effect, matte, simple choker. and use the choke mat to create a rounded radius. I'm setting it to 50. And that's it in its simplest form. Make sure all the effects are selected and go to animation, save animation preset. But there's a couple of extra things you can do first. I quite like a drop shadow, so my saved version includes that. And I also like a gradient instead of a simple fill. So go to effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. Turn off Fill and drag Gradient Ramp into its place. It's good, but the Gradient Ramp is linked to the comp's coordinates. So if I move the layer to the top of the screen, it's different from the bottom. Which is a cute effect, but it wouldn't be consistent. So let's use an expression to fix the ramp to the text layer's coordinates and width and height. Hold Alt and click on the Start of Ramp stopwatch. And in the Expressions area, type y equals transform.position, square brackets, 1. That gives us the layer's y position. Then add plus this layer dot source record time brackets dot top. Note the capital letters. This gives us the top of the text layer. And then on a new line, square brackets, 0, comma, y which sets the start of ramp's position to the layer's vertical position. And as it's a linear ramp, I've left X on the side. Hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and type Y equals and use the expressions pick whip to link it to the Y value of the start of ramp and then type plus. And as before, this layer source rec at time dot. But instead of top, add height after the dot and don't forget the square brackets, 0, comma, y. So we're basing the end of gradient's coordinates on the start of the gradient plus the height of the text. And once you've saved this preset, all you ever need to do is add it to a text layer and ta-da! And if you'd prefer to have an image background, drag in your image to be underneath your text, set the text layer to alpha matte, turn the text layer back on and set its mode to add. Now, if that last step seems a bit too much faff, I get it. And that's where Adobe's essential graphics come into use. Like I said, I'm currently working on a special batch of tutorials, which includes essential graphics. So, you know, watch this space. I mean, not exactly this space. This space will always show you how to make text boxes, but you know, oh, I've got it. Click on this link, or that one.